Uh, I'm Stefan, I'm assistant professor of the innovation group in the Rotterdam School of Management and my main research interest is the organization of social networks. Usually, the first author is the leading and driving force of the paper. There is not just obviously one single way of dealing with this. It could be that the first author is the one launching the idea and taking per care of the paper over the overall process. It can be specifically in very harsh empirical papers that the first author is the one uh, collecting the data, analyzing the data, coming up with new methodologies, etc. But I guess in average uh, and overall in our field, the first author is the one developing the idea, suggesting the idea and taking care of the paper. Whereas the other authors contribute to the paper, but less than the first. And I, I guess it's just an overall, obviously it looks tautological, but it's an overall <coughs> definition of how, how it works. And I don't think that there are very clear cutting rules for defining uh, how this order should be de defined, but, but still obviously the first author has to give some sort of uh, signature in the paper. So making clear that he is taking care of the paper, it makes the difference, is the driving force of the paper. For the review process, it's more interesting. I, I guess that usually what happens is that in the review process, uh, the first author takes care of the review process. So thinks and creates a strategy, drives a strategy, and probably coordinates with the other authors dividing and suggesting how the work should be divided. So there is this sense of responsibility over the paper out of the first author, which is well represented by the fact that usually the first author is the one interacting with the editor for any specific reason, and is the one resubmitting the paper, writing the cover letter, writing the answer to the review, etc. So there is a sense of authorship of the paper which is driven by this taking care of the overall process. Uh, it might happen, it, it never happened to me, but it might happen obviously that during the review process the second author becomes more important or the third becomes more important than the second. It can happen obviously. I think that in these cases a good way of dealing with this potential issue is that the authors should discuss between them, among them, who contributed the most and eventually uh, potentially shaping the order. But I guess that in average the order remains the same and it's fair because the first author has this sort of responsibility in pushing the paper and driving the paper. Yeah. And the other authors obviously contribute but still uh, following to some extent what are the possible suggestions of the first.